As we head into award season for films, did you know that there is an animation company located right here in St. Petersburg? It's getting a lot of buzz. Esteban Valdez, owner, director, and producer of Echo Bridge joins us today. Good morning. Good morning. I am fascinated from this. I come from a family of artists and I love, you say this is one of really three animation studios here in Florida. Right, uh, three that we know of. Okay. There's probably a lot of independence, but as far as companies go, yeah. So tell me a little bit more about your company and how you describe it. Because from what I understand, you do a lot of your own work, producing your own content. You have a background in film, but then obviously companies, businesses, if they need any animation work, they need to come see you. Right, so we're primarily a service-based company. And so what we do is we produce commercials, music videos, explainer videos, educational. Okay. So when people have something that they want to show, or an idea they want to express, then they come to us. Okay. Um, in addition to that, we also produce television shows. So some of our work you can see on Amazon Studios or Am Amazon Prime. You okay. can check us out on Netflix and... No Netflix way! Or... Well, let's go ahead. I know we have some B-roll. I, I want people to kind of get a, a feeling of the type of animation that you do. So tell us a little bit about kind of what we're seeing and, and the type of animation you do. I feel like there's so many different types of animation too, right? Yeah, so we tend to focus primarily on character animation and here what we have is some commercial work that we've done in the mm -hmm. past for clients that are mostly national so that's where our base is okay and we again we focus mostly on character and story uh, versus motion graphics and cgi and a lot of this is hand-drawn this is hand-drawn this is hand-drawn so this is what's fascinating to me because I think there are going to be people that wanted that want to get it this is I think the future of art right like we know this but is it computer based? Is it art based? I mean, what would you advise if someone wants to take this career path like you have? Uh, so I would say learn the fundamentals. It's the basics that really count because even the though fundamentals of actually drawing and right, the, the funda art. the fundamentals of drawing and the fundamentals of art. That's all the same thing. And mm -hmm. really the, the computer is and the tech. That's just it. It's a tool. It's not uh, the end all be all. It's just another resource. Mm -hmm. But if you have all the rest of it, ingrained and like it's, it's second nature mm -hmm. or it's just in the bloodstream, then I mean, the tools actually just help you do your job that much better. What do you think the future of this um, animation? I mean, where do you see it heading? Here we are at the beginning of the year. I mean, I would assume it's gonna grow and continue to grow. Yeah, it's funny enough, this industry has been around for well over 200 years. Mm -hmm. And we've only begun to scratch the surface. You think so? Just the surface, especially when it comes to hand drawn. I think there's been a moment of regressiveness, um, and I think now that we start getting into it, people are, are they want to see more hand drawn work. They want to see the hand of the artist again. It, the, the CGI stuff is wonderful uh -huh. and fun to look at, but there's a certain touch that we're missing. I'm so glad to hear that. I, I really hope that's true. Talk about, I want you to brag on yourself a little bit, which I know you're a very humble man, so you're, you're not very comfortable doing this, but talk about, I mentioned award season is coming up. What are some of the awards that you're kind of most proud of here recently? And I know you have some up uh, that are. Yeah, so we, we recently worked on a project for Facebook uh, Watch. Okay. Um, it's up for an Annie Award. So if that production goes off there, hopefully we get some bragging rights too. Um, we have a short film that's making the festival circuit. Okay. Uh, it's been on the official selection board for, I don't know, I think like 10 festivals now. And we were uh, nominated for Best Animated Short Film as well. Wow. So, so why here in St. Petersburg? Why did you choose to, to set up shop here? You know, I have been around. Uh -huh. um, I worked in Los Angeles. I've worked in New York. Because that's my Toronto. thought is yeah. why not New York? Why not L.A.? The culture here is really, really amazing. At least when I came here about a decade yeah. ago, it's very vibrant in the art and music scene. The food scene's great, and you can it, it's affordable to yeah. live here. So that's the the big important thing. And then I guess the second most important thing for me is that it's not Los Angeles in, <laughs> in New York, you know. And hopefully we can kind of find a yeah. as everything progresses and changes, yeah. you know, we can hold on to our our yeah. culture that much. But I love it here. Yeah. It's great, and there's amazing talent, you know, in our backyard. Well, good. Well, we're, we love that you're here. Keep us posted. We know this is going to be a big year for you guys, and uh, we'll make sure and put more information online. But thank you so much. We appreciate your time today. Thank you very much.